Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Teach the Source of True Happiness, September 14th. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22.6 by their neglect to exercise proper restraint, many parents are creating great unhappiness for their children. The youth who are left to constantly seek for pleasure in amusement or selfish gratification are not happy and never can be happy while following this course. Fathers and mothers, Teach your children that the only way to be truly happy is to love and fear God and enforce the lesson by your example. Let them see that the peace of Christ is ruling in your heart and that His love pervades your life. Will you consecrate your own hearts to God that you may exert a sanctifying influence upon your children? Will you separate them from sin and sinners, and by living faith connect them with God? It should be the work of every parent to cultivate all that is good and true and noble in his children. It is his duty to correct their faults, to restrain their waywardness. Make the word of God your guide in the education of your children, ever considering what will be for their future good. The mother may bestow upon her daughters an education that will be invaluable by training them to bear their share of the family burdens. The father may give his sons a capital of more worth than gold or lands by teaching them to love useful employment instead of seeking happiness in idle amusements or dissipation. Parents, now is the time to form in your children habits of industry, self-reliance and self-control to cultivate economy and business tact. Now is the time to teach them courtesy and benevolence toward their fellow men and reverence and love for God. Home should be the most sunny and attractive spot on earth, and it may be made such by pleasant words and kind acts and underlying all a steadfast adherence to the right. Let us withhold nothing from him who gave his precious life for us. Fathers and mothers, bring to him your children in the freshness and bloom of youth and devote them to his service. A wonderful message to all parents. May we all take heed. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.